Well, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the farm. This is the finale video. Uh, we Our establishment is beyond any reasonable amount of money. <laughs> it's just, it's too good. Um, yeah, the, a couple of things. Uh, we're going to have a time lapse of this whole area right here today. Because we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just buy the land so that we can do that. So we're going to have all of this land at our disposal. I had some ideas for this area over here, but I just don't think it's worth it at this point. We've got so much stuff. I, I don't think it's going to be meaningful, right? Um, quick update. I've, uh, I've gone ahead and I've eliminated all of the cow pens in here and transferred them all into the big pens. And then, as you can see, expanded the number of cows we, uh, we have on the farm. <laughs> Every single pen is getting close to full. Um, I did allow them a little bit. Um, I think I started every pen with 10, I want to say. So they're breeding their way into being full, right? It's kind of nice. And every single one of these has three fully maxed out animal people in it as well. So we're going to have just lots and lots of organic uh, milk. It's, it's an absurd amount of milk at this point. Um, in fact, I have it set in the trade window to sell all milk over a certain value. Um, forget what it is though. It is over 60,000, yeah. And even with the incremental sells, selling always over 60,000, I mean, we're still a 6,000 over that. Like it just keeps doing it and we're accumulating milk ridiculously fast. Um, so this area over here, we're gonna do a couple of things today. Now that I've bought this land, I'm gonna expand this road all the way over to at least here. And I would really like to have gotten a road through here. You gonna let me do that? <gasps> you are gonna let me do it! Yes! Okay, I wasn't sure that was gonna be possible and I couldn't find out really until I got the land. Um, okay, so we're gonna do two things here. The first thing, and again, this is gonna be time lapsed a lot. It's gonna be, this is gonna be like a five hour recording session for me. Uh, we're gonna take the brand new big pens and you can see there's a new overlay. They just added it today for me, two days ago probably for you. Um, a new training overlay so you can see how long is left in your training. I still think this is not a great implementation. I still don't like it, um, but at least they've brought it to where this icon has sort of changed, right? So like this icon used to be different and now it's at least here. And when you click it, it takes you immediately to training. So I suppose that's a thing. We'll see whether or not this little icon reverts back to the old one um, after this is done. But you can still see all the new things. And actually, this icon is completely not possible to get into anymore. Oh, maybe this was the story one, I think. I forget. It's been a while. In any case, um, so I want to do two things today, right? I want to get all the sheep into their new pens all the chickens into big bigger pens and you know like i feel like probably what will happen is this area will just be giant chicken pens right here all of this is going to turn into milk production um oh actually no 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 milk production is going to be along here and it's going to be sort of in the middle of all the cows and the sheep right sorry about moving the camera so fast it's it's real touchy when you hit shift it just boom it, goes man um so we're gonna leave all these these are still gonna stay operational this is gonna turn into a slaughterhouse area because we got lots of pig pens and i have not actually gotten any pigs yet um i wanted to wait till i had a sizable number of animal based employees and we got quite a few i don't really necessarily need them to be entirely animal focused but um i do have quite a few and it looks like all of my houses for this are full too. So that's uh, that's a thing. So let's uh, start this off just to see what it's like for getting pigs real quick. And then we're gonna get started on that stuff. So I'm gonna assign these two animal people to this pig pen. That's probably good enough. And then we're gonna go ahead and buy some pigs. And it looks like we can have up to 24 pigs in a pen. Wow. All right, we'll start with 15. And they want rye, oats, corn, soya, and lupine. Lupin? Lupin? Lupine. In any case, uh, they want that. We're going to start them off with just this average food of oats and corn because that's what we have access to. 
I could easily just buy anything I want, but for now, I just want to see the piggies in the pen, okay? And then we can expand out and have all of these full and all that stuff too. For the large, uh, for this area, I want to have a whole bunch of milk production. Again, it's it's like pointless at this point, right? But we're going to do it anyway. So uh, milk production is going to be along this road here. One, we're going to go, let's see, one, flip this over, go two, three, uh, it'll be here, I guess. Yeah. Four. And then five, six. It'll be seven, eight. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is how we're doing this. Uh-huh. Uh, looks like I can go out one more or what? Oh, I gotta flip it. Right. Okay. So like that. And then one more. Yeah, just one more. That's not going to be enough, but we're still going to do one more there. All right. Now, we're going to need power on these two, and um, it probably would have been smarter to go ahead and do this. But I think what I can do, actually, since I left gaps in here, I can place the power pole for this in the gap first. I want to see if there's, like, a different method to doing this. So I can place this in the gap right about here should be good. And just bring it up to the road. And um, I think we just bring it all the way over and across. So I'll pick this pole to go to here. Yep. And then all the way to here. Yep. And then all the way to here. And then all the way over to here. And then up to here. So that hopefully gives me the infrastructure for power. So if you forget to do this, I think we can lay the power first and then the roads. You can do an either or thing, I think. Um, so we're gonna do about like this. And bring this power pole to here. There we go. And then finally one more right here. Should be good. I think I, this one's in, what's going on with this? Oh, you know what? This building is, oh, it's up against the main road. Well, yeah, whatever. Do I care? I kind of do. I kind of do. I do. Whatever. I got lots of money, so I can afford to care. <laughs> Let's go. This is this is one of those can I afford to care things. Yes. Yes, we can. All the way up. And we'll just kind of go like that. Okay. And then we're probably going to want one more eventually. Uh, but I'm not sure where. But it'll go over here in this area somewhere. Okay, so now that we got those, we should be able, I believe, to lay the road. If I can just... Hi. There we go. There we go. And lay the road. Beautiful. And lay the road. Beautiful. Okay. So these things... Are all this milk production is all going to happen over here now. You notice we got two big logistics centers... We might need another, but right now, two big logistics centers should be good enough. And of course, I don't have nearly enough employees for all of this. So we're going to need lots and lots of housing for these guys. And that's okay, because what we're going to do here, we have all this land, right? So what we're going to do here on this side is I'm going to probably bring the road out about here. I have thought about this. Okay, I've given it thought. Sometimes I don't. But this time, I have. Mm-hmm. We're going to put houses along the edges right here for employees to be at. And so this road ends up... Let's have it even just a little bit more space because I think we could use it potentially. And we'll just go all the way... Mm, we can go all the way to here. And then uh, bring this down like so. And bring this down like so. I didn't think this through. This connection here was... Because I didn't really know if I could make this road. So, I guess I got this road now. That's cool. Whatever. It doesn't need to be lined up, does it? I see roads do this all the time. Quick quick curve and then a turn. Wait, we do this all the time. Okay. So, now I just have to staff these buildings and get them all set to the proper stuff. Which is to mass produce cheese and butter forever. But... 
wait, there's more. So all of this is going to end up rotating into sheep, I think. And um, I was going to... I thought about doing just chickens here, though. I mean, I, I guess I could tear these buildings down and just move them over. But how many do we got right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So over here is 4, 8, 11. Like, so this is not even close to enough to process all the milk we were doing. Now that we've expanded, I feel like we need to triple the number of these things. So I'm actually gonna just keep going on this, I think. I was gonna make this room for something else, but nah. Nah, I think we, uh, I think we gotta do it. And now I'm um, second guessing. I think I can, I, got, I gotta move this, yep. I gotta move this now. Maybe this whole area here will all work out, but we're gonna expand this even more. So I've put this in and I've got it set up to where we just got a lot more production for milk here. And I think that's a pretty appropriate number of, of milk processors. But I honestly, I still don't think it can keep up with the amount of milk we're actually like getting. Like that is a lot of milk all the time, right? And uh, I really don't think we can process as much as, uh, as, much as this is going to take, even though we've got that many. Um, what I could could do and probably should do is do like two more rows But because this is the finale, I don't need to actually show what that's gonna take. I don't care So instead I'm gonna get the sheep stuff going on over in this area And then we've got extra stuff. We're gonna do in this area and also back in here So I'm gonna just take uh, this road bring it up to that point point. And um, I'm going to leave that one alone. I may want to get that land. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to need it. <clears throat> but right now, I'm going to go ahead and get the sheep pen sorted out. So over on this side, let's see. So I'm going to have to make get the progress bar. Oh, these, these scroll bars are a little bit thicker now. Thank you. Um, medium. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Large shed. Here it is. The sheep. So I'm gonna put this up against here. Yeah, I actually kind of want them lined up, don't I? So why don't we leave a little gap? I like that little gap idea here. Uh, eh, should I get two gaps? Maybe we'll just start from back here. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. Yes. Look at how much space we have. This is ridiculous. There is no way. I'm going to actually just end it here because this gives me more room for more milk processing if I wanted. Um, so we are going to start this, this journey. And I will be right back. For a quick second there, I kind of uh, forgot to include the second set of power poles, so uh, had to delete the road and put them back in. So uh, here's our ridiculous sheep operation. <laughs> it's going to be nuts. And honestly, this all this should probably be re repeated several times. And, um, like, I could do it just for the sake of doing it. I mean, I still got $22 million, so... 
if I wanted to. Let's keep this area just so we can have the housing, right? But, um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking we just sort of do one of these numbers and just keep the thing running. Um, not here. Actually, I need to put this road in. Right? But if we just keep this going, so, like, I bring this road all the way down to here, and then um, this road would have to get removed as well. So I'd probably want to change this up and just bring this road all the way across. Right? And then I could remove this if I wanted and remove this road. And because of just how much milk there is to make, you know, we could just do something like, whoops, hey, like that. We could do something like this. We just lay more in. <laughs> So I need a place to put the manure, and the frame rates die while all these things are building. So, uh, but I do. I need a place to put the manure, and um, kind of a little bit of a struggle city to try to figure that out. Actually, um, I also need to lay in these paved roads, uh, but I also want to wait and see if we got power to everything. It doesn't look like we do, so I'm gonna just put another transformer. I think right here, there, and then I also it looks like I need another one over here. Pop one there and connect it to that. And then we add another transformer, yep, right here. And connect it to this as well. That's fine. That'll bring everything in with power. Looks looks good so far, right? Like this is this is like your giant commercial operation right here, right? This is like, hey, I was trying to figure it out while we were playing, and this is I have millions of dollars, so let's do this. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to use this area here for something else. And um, we're going to get started on building that stuff, too. Uh, and what's going to happen is basically I'm going to let this thing run. I'm going to hire as many employees as I can over the next several hours of this game running, basically. And um, we'll get all of these buildings full of employees, and we'll just see off the, how they kick everything out. But it's getting close to the winter. So I don't know if we're going to be able to use these, but we're going to try. So we've got all of these raspberries, right? And the strawberries and everything. But in addition to what we're producing, I also have a ton of them saved up. 64,000 strawberries. Uh, there's 37,000 raspberries because I think I'm actually selling them. Like the access. But I'm also using them to make seeds. Uh, because these bush, these seeds and stuff are really valuable too. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to get started working on frozen foods. And uh, I think... Because I, I want to see all the different production changes and just see what they do. So we have a fruit processing plant here. And then we have also frozen food factories and stuff. And vegetable processing. We're going to do that too. For fruit processing, I think what we'll start with is a building... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually do this right along this road. We can leave some space there for something else if we, want, if we need it. But I can put in four fruit processors right here. Make our jams and all that stuff. Right? So just these four. And um, and we'll make sure it has power, of course, too. So let's line this up and put this, like, right here, let's say. And just bring it all the way out. And honestly, I think we can just bring it all the way to up here. All right, good. So that's going to give us power to all this stuff. And then uh, we'll lay the road in, right? All like this. And then we have actually extra space, almost like I planned it that way, which I didn't, I swear. But that lines up perfectly, so we're going to do it. Uh, and then along the backside here, we're probably going to have uh, the road connect too. But let's just see how big this building is first. Frozen food factories, right? Oh, yeah. This building has got some size to it, huh? But look at this. Uh, again, didn't plan this, but it just it lines up so beautifully. We can't have it on that side, unfortunately, but still, but still. Frozen food factory. We're gonna, we can stagger this, but I won't. We're gonna do like this and like, um, you know, 
I was tempted to just make a path in between this, but I guess I don't need to. There we go. Okay. Then make sure this has power as well. So just pop this in anywhere. Right about here should work. Bring the power line all the way up to here. And then we'll just we'll just connect it up to here. It doesn't matter. Alright. So frozen food going in now too. And then let's just get this road. Go all the way over to here. And then all the way over to here. And these little gaps are actually pretty nice. Because if you need to add more employees or something, you can just place these little houses in that little gap. You know? So, like, if I need more employees here, and I probably will, then I can just, you know, add these little houses right here. And you can add seemingly infinite numbers of these, really, just whatever the space is, because this one will butt up against the road, and then you just add, like, a one-tiled, a one-road driveway there, and then you're in, you know, so I could put three houses right here. So, this is nice. So, fruit processing and frozen foods all going in right here, and that is a pretty good usage of the space. Now, the one thing we're missing here is some place to store manure. And honestly, that's a good spot for the, right, right here. So we can put manure storage right here. And look at this. That just covers, oh my God, that covers every single, every single sheep pen is covered by this. Oh my gosh. And both of them. Boom. <laughs> put an extra one over here just because. Boom. Wow. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, this is this is the life right here. We're gonna put a house in here. Live near the manure. Live there. <laughs> ah farming farming life. This is this is what it's all about right here. Alright, so I am going to uh, I've I've laid all this stuff in for you. We have huge milk expansions happening. Um, eventually. I'm gonna move all of these sheep over to here. And then we're going to get a slaughterhouse operation right here with these pigs. And the chickens are going to be over here, too. We're going to have big chicken coops um, over in this area right here. So the chickens and the pigs are all next to the slaughterhouse operation right here. Uh, in addition to all these, uh, I'm going to leave these. I could probably rearrange them, but I'm just going to leave them because they're the only ones technically producing right now. And we have logistics to move everything around. So um, let me move the, all the sheep over. I just want to fill you in on that process with one of these pens. And then uh, this will kind of give you an example of how much time this takes. I really hope there is some sort of automation in this process. And what I would like to see, because when you update these pens, it's a real pain in the ass. So what I would love to see from this game is an upgrade feature on the building itself. Here's how the workflow would go. You click the building, there's an upgrade button. You hit upgrade. When you hit the upgrade button, it kind of gives you sort of like a pending construction, whatever, look. And your mouse already has. So let's say I just hit the button, boom, hit the button. All of a sudden, bam, this appears on my mouse, right? And then obviously it won't fit in the same spot, so it won't let me place it. And it will validate placement when you have a spot to place it. And then just boom. It's upgraded and it's moved there. The employees are all still in there. The number of sheep are all still in there. The food, all the settings you had for the original pen are carried over to the new pen. And then you can just expand from there. That would be very good. Because then all of this, all of this is laid out right here. All I have to do is go, you, upgrade, and... Place it here. You upgrade, place it here. You upgrade, place it here. Now you might be thinking, well, if the employee lives too far from their workplace, what happens then? That's fine. Just don't have the employee move over. She goes back home. She has, she has no job now. And then I have to place the employee. That's completely fine with me. A better way to do it, if you could, as an, I don't, it's, it's a little bit of coding probably, and I don't know the extent of the work, so it might be extensive. Um, just have the employees live at the house closest to their job. I, I don't like having to choose where people live. This process of you move to this house, you move to this house. You, I, I don't like it. I really don't. It's not fun. Um, like when in the beginning, it makes sense. But as you get this big, 
it's like no i don't really care to do this over and over again it's it's repetitive and it's annoying i would just like employees just live in the house closest to where you work i put you in this job okay you fill the slot and if there's no housing available near this job then just tell me that and i'll add more housing and then boom they live there right like it's, it's so much better experience wise okay i've had my i've set my piece so this is the process guys we're gonna take this pen the small shed i'm gonna say move all and we're just gonna start in, in one i guess um there i have to pause it because now there's sheep living here and there's uh nobody working there next i have the employee who's here her name is ivy graham we're gonna take ivy out but i can't have her work here because she doesn't live close enough to work here so <clears throat> what i have to do i have to figure out where ivy lives and I, now you might think you there's a relocate button yes however since she's still working at the old pen i will not be able to relocate her to a new house that's out of range of her existing workplace so i need to get her out of her existing workplace then i can move her to a new house that's how that works so i won't be able to for example choose her to work in this pen because she's not currently living in range so now i have to figure out what house she's living in that's a pain in the butt i don't like it uh, i gotta figure it out so let me find her I, we're looking for someone named ivy and she won't have one of these icons over her picture so if we find an ivy without one of those green icons over her picture then that's her it's right there so this is ivy we want to take her now that she doesn't have a workplace we can re uh, just for you you know who you are i'm gonna relocate her and now i can choose a house again i also do not like this overlay this overlay sucks instead of giving me this overlay just let me click a house highlight the house let me navigate to it in the map and click it it would be way 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 better okay that's my that's my two cents i'm sticking to it um where do i want her to live i want her to live one of these houses right here yep uh let's choose this one okay so now that she's living in this house right she's now in range to work this pen well at least i thought she was is she not uh oh that's a problem she is absolutely not okay well i'm gonna need a new house at least she's closer yeah yeah these are none of these are close enough to work here wow that expanded pretty quickly didn't it you know what i got a solution to this problem <laughs> we're just gonna do this Ta -da! problem solved we just buy more land all right so let me uh let me square this away and uh with the housing situation over here and uh i'll be right back okay i got her moved over to this house here and that's gonna let her work in this pen so now we at least have somebody to take care of these poor sheep <laughs> all right and to buy even more land to do this but i guess it makes sense to just buy this land now doesn't it so we could just have this road go out oh this could be just a big road hey there's another big road for us we could do it why don't we just do it and get it over with I don't know how um how well the game acts with this much land but so far performance is consistent i mean it's kind of getting worse as we as we go bigger but i mean that's pretty much expected we 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 pretty much expect that to always happen um but there we go big road to get them to here i guess and then this will just Do we just do that? That looks interesting. We'll let that play out. All right. So I got them over to here, and uh, now I just have to do that same thing. So this pen is now empty, and you notice there's resources still in here too. I don't know what those are gonna be repurposed or moved out. Um, the only thing I can think of is if I go no organic here, then I think the logistics places will eventually empty them out. I really don't know how that works, if nothing. All right, maybe it doesn't do anything. I don't know. But anyway, we, we can then take care of that. We get $81,000 back. So maybe we automatically sell everything in there. Because these don't cost 81 k In any case, that's the process. So I'm going to do that with all of these sheep and all of these employees. Get them all over here, right? And then we'll build out 
um, our slaughterhouse operation, um, and then our chicken coops and stuff over here too. Um, and I'll probably have to buy this land. Why don't we just do that? God, I didn't plan on buying land today, but I might as well, right? All right, let me get on this with the sheep and transfer, and then I'm gonna also get all of the sheep over here. I'm gonna then buy a whole, or hire a whole lot of people. I'm gonna hire like 200 people and get them all inside these facilities, and I'll walk you through all the things I've done after that. But this is kind of busy work, and I don't want to incorporate it into this already longer than anticipated video. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, so it took me until winter <laughs> to get that done. Mm -hmm. And I'm zipping time ahead faster now. Um, I've had it on one time speed and pause pretty much usually around one time speed in that whole time. Uh, I need to get some more training done. And this button actually disappears when there's no training. So uh, it's like a new button that's been added, right? Which is okay, but if there's no training going on, the button is gone. I don't know. I don't know why. There's plenty of room over here. Let people see this button, all right? I'm just saying, it's like the only reminder we have that, oh yeah, training exists. So in order to keep going with this, I need more staff. So I got to get up to 500 staff and I've been uh, letting that go. Uh, I could easily just skip the season right now and you get $6 million, but we can't skip the winter if we currently have field work going on. And you can see there's a few fields that are you know, over here and stuff that are still being worked. So until the field work is done, you can't actually skip the winter, which is which is fine, whatever. Um, a couple of changes I had to make to this area. The uh, the biggest one is I had to add a whole bunch of buildings over here. So in addition to the housing additions, they needed barns. So I just added a bunch. They need some silos for you know getting this stuff. I just added a bunch of food. Basically, accessibility was uh, limited over here. Um, we had a couple of more. Uh, warehouses here, here, here. Uh, oh, and veterinary clinics were needed too. I didn't have any vet coverage. So I've added one there. I've added one back here. And I actually, to, to get this one in this area, I'd already added the barn. So to get one in here, I actually just wrapped this road around and that works actually. Um, and then there's another vet clinic back over here. It's a little hard to see with all the snow and everything, but um, yeah. Just had to add a bunch of stuff to get all of these guys covered. Now, all of the sheep are out of this area. So I could, for example, just eliminate the road now if I wanted to. There's no reason to have it anymore. And uh, we can start on the slaughterhouse stuff if we want to, which I guess we do. Um, I'm a little bit strapped for people at the moment, but uh, that's okay. I, I don't, I honestly, I don't think I can even fill all these buildings. Um, like p putting one employee at a time and moving them to certain houses in a list. Uh, it's, I don't know if I'm even going to play it guys. It's, it's already a huge time commitment just to move people over. And uh, I don't know, it kind of, it kind of ruins the fun of the game a little bit to have to just micromanage that. So I probably won't, but I do want to at least show you some of the workflows. So I think what I'll do is once this is done, We'll just hire anybody. They don't have to be proficient or anything. I'm just gonna hire anybody. Just get them in the building so we can see how it works. So uh, looks like we got 22 piggies in here. We could at least you know, we can we can rock with this. Let me uh, maybe get a couple of more people in here. We'll just buy a whole bunch more pigs. We'll get them set up for food. Get them delivered. Uh, we'll add like let's say you and you. That's probably fine. Just you two is is good. Uh, and we'll go ahead and buy more piggies and we'll just get the uh, the food organized for them. There we go. That's probably good enough. All right. So slaughterhouses. Let's go. Uh, we are going to use this and they could do all sorts of things for making meat. And uh, we'll maybe set up one. I think we could probably get rid of the silo. And this house can go too, I think. Oh, workers are assigned to this building. Oh, wow. Lots of workers are assigned to this building. What happens if I destroy it now? Before demolishing the building, you must fire or move them. Ugh. Really? You suck. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, you know what? It's, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. We're just going to fire them all. Yeah, no, it's fine. Just get them out of here. I, I just, it's not worth it. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Get out of here. 
Let me let me destroy it. Thank you. Okay. So let's get rid of this and this, and uh, now we're set up and ready to go for this. So I'm gonna say slaughterhouse, and we're gonna go here. And ah, oh, come on. Hmm. All right. New idea. New plan. This is gone. Get rid of this road. And you know what? The vet clinic. We don't need no. We don't need to treat animals anymore here. We're good. We don't. We don't need to take care of them anymore. <laughs> We're gonna be doing the opposite of that pretty soon. So, um, let's get right up against the road so I can see it. And right about there is where I want this. All right. And then uh, we'll get another one set up over here. I mean, we really don't need this many just to demonstrate how this works. But you know, whatever. Uh, looks like we can go. Is it? Is it lined up here? Yeah, it kind of sticks out from where it is. So right here and here. Okay, this will be fine. Just these buildings, just like this. It's completely fine. And transformer for power. Uh, we're going to line it up, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, right in the back here is, I guess, good. Bring it all the way down and over. But none of this stuff has power. Oh, I broke the whole power grid. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. We'll just bring you out like this and over here. Wow, no redundancy on this at all, huh? There's only one way in on power here? We gotta change that. I can't believe this isn't connected. Really? Huh. Does this matter? No, not really. Let it run. Let the slaughterhouses be built. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of this road, looks like. And we could probably ditch this road now. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to do. Um, I know the chickens and stuff, we were going to get that going. But guys, it's 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 meaningless, honestly. Getting more chickens in this, in this series is meaningless. And uh, I think I'm actually done with it. I think I'm just not. It's, uh, I have to put about 10 hours into just restructuring the business at this point. So, yeah, no thanks. Uh, so let's take a look and see what this stuff can do. Because we have people for this, I think. So what we want to do is we want to just get, it doesn't matter, anybody can work in here. You two can work in here. And let's say you two can work in, I don't want any of the animal. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care. Um, put it, let's see. Uh, okay, so this is two fruit processing plants. We'll just have two of them going for now. And then for the frozen foods, we want a couple of people working here too. Get a couple of people working like that. And how about you? We'll have you working. Is there manufacturing people? Nice. All right. So um, how do we want to do this? Well, change the production and let's take a look at how profitable these things are because I got a feeling it's going to be ridiculous. All right, raspberries. Frozen organic raspberries is half a million dollars a month. Okay. Uh half uh, how about strawberries? Okay, the difference is ridic is pretty like staggering. 5 times more value in raspberries. Wow. We're still going to do the strawberries anyway cuz whatever. Uh, and then uh, for the fruit processing plant, you know, strawberries might be better in juice. 53,000 for strawberry jam. Dude, strawberry jam is my absolute favorite flavor of jam. I know it's not that original, but it's amazing. Second is raspberry jam, honestly. Um, that's kind of me. And if your favorite is grape, you're just boring. That's all, I, that's my official statement to you. You're just boring. Also, apricot can be turned into jam. I think we're going to... Oh, we can do dried apricots, of course. Of course. I forgot all about those things. Uh, okay, we'll just get you two in here to do the, the to do that. Um, you guys are going to do, let's say... Yeah, no, strawberry jam. You're going to do strawberry jam. That's, that's what you're all about. You two are going to do that. Uh, and then this one, we've got some production here. How about we get some organic apple juice, huh? That's good diversity in our product offerings. And then the final thing could be raspberry jam. All right. So we're going to be producing all the things. 
And, uh, you know, it's, it's okay. I just want to see how the product, I mean, it's, it's, it's not revolutionary, right? Take, take raw materials, uh, make processed goods. It's the same as every other building, but it's interesting to see just sort of what th certain things are valued at. Like for example, the carrots, right? Organic carrot, shredded carrots, a hundred thousand. Okay. Shredded carrots are better than all of the fish. Wow, they're they're basically the same as strawberries. Uh, nowhere near the raspberries, though. They're just overpowered. Rasper frozen raspberries are nuts. <laughs> Everything, right? If you want money in this game, I realize that there's some people out there who are like, do fish, do fish. That's the best thing. I mean, sure, they patched it, right? But raspberries, all right? Don't let anyone tell you different. <laughs> raspberries are where the money is, man. Because look at this. It's just insane. We are going to get, I think with all four of these frozen food factories, um, if I was to focus them all entirely on raspberries instead of the strawberries, like if I was going to play this game again, we could do the hardest possible mode. All I would do is I would basically just start with raspberry orchards. I think the, the dairy farm is actually a pretty mild cost basis to start the game so I, I do think the probably dairy farm is the way to go in the beginning um unless fish are i mean fish are pretty good i'm not gonna say the fish aren't the best because i don't have any experience using fish in here um you can have there's plenty of youtube videos showing you fish so you want to see the fish you go for it um but it's uh i'm trying to show you like everything else and i think this is pretty much everything else the only difference would now be the slaughterhouse and see what we can do for this so if i was to grab uh let's see i don't really want anyone that can just grab all these machine people they're not you know manufacturing people or whatever all right so 10 chickens gives us 50 chicken meat and uh 10 organic chickens gives us this much uh, I feel like in this situation, we're going to have to keep buying. But I guess like with cows, with beef, right? Organic beef, 275,000. Two cows, 275,000. That's kind of nuts. And then there's all of this extra settings in here for this too. And I'm not sure. Oh, I see. So you tell this building to take meat from a certain cow shed if the value or if the number of cows in that cow shed exceeds a certain number, right? So if we say, hey, this cow shed, if it's over 12, take it, right? But don't take it if it's, you know, under that. And then we have another cow shed here. We could say, hey, same thing with you. And we could just leave these at 13, I guess, the default. So we can kind of do, 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 do that. And then each one of these, right? We just constantly get milk, but we also, every once in a while, you know, we do the thing and we get uh, money for the for doing the thing. Now let's just bring you all the way over like that. Does this have a rote? Yeah, right there. All right, that's fine. So that's that's how that works. And if we wanted to do the same thing with chickens, we could totally do that. We could just be like, hey, if these chicken coops are over 10, take them, you know? Uh, and then the pigs, of course, want to do pigs. That was that was kind of the, the thing we were doing with the pig farming over here. Um, I wasn't really going to do beef, but it looks like the beef is pretty valuable. So uh, we're going to take, where is it? Where is it? Pigs, organic pigs. Okay, we're going to get 190 uh, organic pig meat, also known as pork. Call it like it is, man. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right, so that's that's that. And then the chickens don't have anybody working here, so we can just pop a couple of people in here. All right, so aside from fish, what have we covered in this game, right? Aside from fish, we've covered, well, beekeeping. One thing I noticed about beekeeping, and I'm not sure, maybe this is training or something. I don't seem to be able to get these other forms of honey. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. It seems to be stuck on only this type and I can't click anything else. Um, if I look at the training, which I mean, I could get more employees after this, I guess. Um, I don't notice anything related to getting new types of honey. Maybe I'm just missing it. I, I see one where I can have increased harvest from it. That's cool. 
Um, but I don't see anything related to getting like organic honey. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. Um, I don't know if it's maybe overlooked or if it's just not in the game yet. It seems like a pretty code wise. I think that would be pretty simple. You just pop it in like anything else, I guess. It's already there. So I, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out exactly where that would be. Because the bees are pretty straightforward. You just place them. You don't really even have to provide them with any food, it doesn't seem. You know? So, I don't know. How do I get organic honey? Uh, and, yeah. So, we, we, this is it. This is it. We've, we've covered uh, slaughterhouse and meat, right? We're going to see how that works out. And that's probably going to start you know, transporting them in here and getting that taken care of. Not entirely sure. Uh, I guess it's if it's over 10, right? So this is actually 10. So I guess in order to get the chickens, we would have to say take above five, I suppose, six. Right. So that will get that started. Um, and then. Yeah, and we need bigger chicken coops for this probably, too, just because there's only 10 that can fit in here, but it doesn't matter. That's how this interface works. That's how that system works. This one here, we can take the pigs, I suppose. We, could do, we never did ducks. We never did goats, but it's all the same, right? I mean, it's just all the same. It doesn't really matter what you do. Um, we got lots of milk. This is how you could feasibly expand your milk production. And like tons of sheep, you just you're just going to make... With this arrangement, you're just gonna make like probably 40 million a year, 50 million a year. And at that point, is there, is there really a point to keep playing? And I think not, I think this is it. So guys, I appreciate you joining me for Farm Manager 2021. It's a charming little game. I think the late game, it gets, you know, like any other game like this, you know, business, logistics, managers, at some point you just ramp up and it's no stopping you from there. And that this game definitely has that. There is no cost too great. I mean, this entire expansion here cost me like 20 million to install, and I'm already back to 20. Like I, I had at one point, I was down to 10 million. So 13 ish, 15 ish million to install all this stuff, and I, it's probably more than that just because I was earning money during it. But there you go. That's how that works. And then you know the balance will be just be there for the winter time. Training's all done. I can hire more employees now. And at that point, it becomes a lot less annoying because then I can go in here and I can say, hey, um, well, after I assign them, right, I can, a after I get everybody assigned, it becomes less annoying. But I can just do this and add more sheep if I want to, move on to the next one, hire these three people here, and just rinse and repeat until, you know, we get to the point where we have to start hiring people because I've used everybody. So that'll be right now, right? So now I get to the higher screen and I can just go through and hire whoever I want. So uh, it doesn't matter. So guys, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope you'll enjoy Anno. I've been recording that too when I'm not busy dealing with these animals. <laughs> uh, raspberries for the win, as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.